Welcome back to Fearly Deeply. Um, so we died last time, but the save point, save file was right when we got that key. So. Oops, hold on. There we go. We got some sound. Um, so I guess we should go get that gun. And not, you know, actually use it. We'll just use our regular gun. For now, anyway. So, there's something that I'm missing, clearly. Um, something that we could do to sh turn off that fire, probably. To extinguish it. That's what you do. You don't turn off a fire, you extinguish a fire. Okay, let me rub myself against the walls. What was that? A glue-like stuff is stuck to it. Well. I don't want to know about the crew's glue-like substance. Here's a regulator. Here's gun. Nothing useful here. All right, there's like barely anywhere to look at in this room, so I'm going to assume there's nothing else. I'm bit, I think he auto-aims down when I'm facing the right direction, but it's not the clearest so far. Maybe we'll, maybe it'll, maybe it'll become clear as I continue on. sure that we clear this out before we come back in again. Yeah, okay, so I guess that enemy was the guy who died right here, right? It seems like that would make sense. All right, so we go up. There's going to be a fire. I, I don't know if, like, we have to go up when there's a fire. Maybe seeing the cutscene will will activate a flag or something. We'll just, you know, we're just making sure. Just making sure. Can't advance any further. And let's just see what happens on the next... Okay, no. We just get the same cutscene again. I was going to say, can I creep forward to see if there's anything I can access? I cannot. It just takes... It just shows me the cutscene. All right. Okay. So pretty sure there's nothing we can do in there at the moment. Gotta just be methodical here. Make sure we examine every last square inch. We're going back down here. Oh no, this room's full of water. Why didn't I notice that before? Better put this on. Okay, now we're in here, the torpedo room. Is there anything we can access? Anything we can use? Rub myself against the walls. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, 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 rub. Pressing the button as I rub against walls. Oh, hold on, what's this? Fire, okay, this is what I missed. Yeah? Why did I get a scene of that? Like, it's this right here. I should look at it? I mean, we, we know what it is. Don't know why we got, like, a little cutscene of that. Maybe they just want to make sure we know it's important. What a tragic end I can see is agony. Okay, he gave us a magazine for the submachine gun. That's what we got. Okay, well now we have the capsule what with to extinguish fire. So not really much of a question what we need to do right now, I think. item. Fire extinguisher capsule. It can put out a fire in a second. Well, show me. Wow. 
Wow, how effective. All right, we used a grenade to kill the fire. A charred body from his badge. He must have been a high-ranking officer. I've obtained the dog tag. All right, I guess that's the only thing we're getting from him. Dog tag. It says Michael J. Spader, 1224. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you the ship's captain? Yes, I, I'm Dallas Silver, the ship's captain. What happened here? We, we picked up that thing. Have you seen the creature? That thing? We don't know who's been infected. Half the crew transformed. One missile was launched, and now a nuclear warhead is being armed. Who's doing it? Second in command. He crashed the ship into the Navy area and wants to blow up the big table with a missile. I tried to stop him. Where is he? Uh, downstairs. I want to disarm the nuclear warhead, but I can't move. It's up to you. Here. It's the key to the officer's vault. Inside is the nuclear missile control key. With the key and the second-in-command's password, the vault will open. But only the second-in-command knows the password. Well, that seems like it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Don't forget the name of Subcommander. It's Michael J. Spader. Oh, well. Yes, it does seem like a problem, does it? Only he knows the passcode. We must find him. Can I, like, show you that I have his dog tags to illustrate that I did find him? No, it does not. It seems not like seems like we cannot. It's a key to open the safe. control panel for the missiles. There are two keyholes. <laughs> I don't see anything else in the room to look at. Okay, a big air duct. Where does it connect to? I guess we're not going to find out. Can I look at that paper on the floor? No. Doesn't seem like there are other things I can interact with. All right. I, I, I wish we could mention to him that we found Spader. Oh, right. I should put this on. Doesn't seem like we uh, have anything else to say. didn't seem there was anything else to look at in this room. safe the safe is double locked I need the passcode does it let me guess it does let me guess oh it's four digits all right let's look at those dog tags again 1224 Whoop, no, no that's that's not a 12 or 24. I've obtained Missile Control Key 2. And you! I earned you as well! It 
It's a key to control the Poseidon missile. I need two keys to control the missile. Let's replenish. Can we read that sign? Is there anything on that? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Was there anything else in this room to look at? Doesn't seem like it. It's not like it's not focusing on the table in the middle or anything. All right. I guess that's it. Oh, is there anything here? What's that? A chart here. I wonder which sea they crossed. I guess we don't need that information now. No one does. So it might be that they keep getting back up. But it also seems like we can keep replenishing ammo at those lockers. Seems like I kind of frequently play survival horror games where the enemies can't die. Seems like I've encountered that a few times. Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? Well, I only have one of these keys. This, okay, oh, hold on. Uh-oh, that's some boss music. At least it's, you know, it's music of some kind. Ow. There's really not much room in here to maneuver. Yeah, he, uh, he sure can reach you. Maybe I should equip the grenade. But, yeah? I mean, he's still going. Oh, he got me. I pushed him away. And that's the thing that's that's really knocking them back, but I think I'm out. Yep, I'm down. That is that's a tight little room to fight this guy in. Like he can reach you. Well, I mean, at least we know what to do. I wonder if I could just go back on the ladder. Like, is there a reason just not to leave the room? Like, I assume the reason is that that's the captain and that we have to kill him to get his key, right? Because we only had one key. So we need his key to be able to use the control panel. I would assume that. I also wonder if maybe I should use the other gun that I have. Maybe like this is maybe it would work well on him. I don't know that. Let's just remember that before we like what we're gonna, we have to do this again. But let's just remember that when we go back when. Uh, all right, we have a uh, when we're about to do that. Let's go back. Come back here and save. I like that since he's the captain, that means he turns into a boss monster. Like, he doesn't turn into a normal monster like everyone else. He is specifically a boss monster. I just, I just want to get to the door.
Oh, he gives us uh, some ammo for a submachine gun, but I guess we didn't find any. We didn't find a submachine gun. Give us a little cutscene of that torpedo hatch, but I'm not sure why. There it is. Oh, that's different. That was a different monster right there. I like how all functions in this game are done through grenades. Like, it doesn't matter what exactly it is you need to be done. You can do it with a grenade. Like, probably that's how they eat dinner here, too. They have a food grenade. Like, one guy opens his mouth, the other guy pull pulls the pin and tosses the grenade in his mouth. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you the ship's captain? Yes, I, I'm Dallas Silver, the ship's captain. I feel like I'm turning into a monster, but I mean, that's probably... Have you seen the creature? Uh, it's probably fine. We don't know who's been infected. Half the crew transformed. One missile was launched, and now a nuclear warhead is being armed. Who's doing it? Second in command. He crashed the ship into the Navy area and wants to blow up the big table with a missile. He just got I'm sick of us fine. talking about mermaids all the time. Uh, downstairs. I want to disarm the nuclear warhead, but I can't move. It's up to you. Here. It's the key to the officer's vault. Inside is the nuclear missile control key. With the key and the second in command's password. The vault will open, but only the second in commands knows the password. <laughs> what is this strange key? The way we usually open doors is we have a uh, like we have a hole in the in the door, and then we take a key grenade and we throw we pull the pin and throw the grenade into the door. Uh, and that's how we usually open doors here. I know, this is an old-fashioned key. Before we did everything with grenades. Oh, hello. Hi, hi, hello. It's like a cricket. Okay. It's like a cricket monster. And also here is slow big arm man. Big arm man is still here. Uh okay, actually I th is it, I think it was it back in this room? Yeah, I think it was this room up here. Angles, I'm gonna say, leave a little to be desired. I find, like, with frequently with many of these rooms, like, no matter where I'm standing, I just, I feel like the, ang the angles just aren't great. 
like I, I re really would like to be able to see more at any one time. Like this is that. It's an operative. Why are, why are two monsters right here right in front of the door? There was no one here when I went in. And look at this. What is this? What is this nonsense in front of this door? Okay, we saved the game. Let's just... Uh... Before we go up there, let's see. Resuscitation kit. This is, oh, this is full HP. Okay. This is just some HP. Let's see. Before we go back. Let's see if Mookie has any more for us. Because I don't think I... I I didn't keep trying to get them until he ran out. So maybe there's still more. Oh, hello. Oh, no, this is not the room. We want to keep going. Okay, we saved anyway. I feel like when there are enemies either above or below me, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to hit them. Wait, no, not, no, not, do, not new game. Not new game. That's, no. It was, that's, it's not, it's meant to go to load game. You need to go to load game. New game is the default option. So don't, don't just keep pressing the button. Don't just keep pressing the button. Got to make sure we go to load game. Okay, we're back here. So what we needed to do was we wanted to go back to the submersible and see if we can get more F-Aids. they can't hit you when you're on the ladder so far anyway it seems this off six so let's take two more okay now we're maxed out on the med kits uh. 
No one here, so that's good. Let's save again. Why don't I R charge? And then save. Here we are. Now, uh, how about we... Well, before we do that, how about we... Um, why don't we equip the grenade? And use the key. I'm glad that doesn't hurt us. I'm glad that only hurts him. There we go. Perfect. What did he say? I couldn't tell. This monster was Captain Dallas. Part of his body has transformed grotesquely, and the other part uh, didn't transform at all, but the part we're focused on is the part that did transform. We've obtained missile control key one. Let's use it. Hopefully they're close enough. Yeah, they're close enough that we can turn both of them. We saved everyone. But oh no! What? 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 That's it. Is it? Oh no, this yeah, we got the music now. We got the music telling us we got to hurry. I don't know why uh I mean John Meyer needs to trust his instincts. And just say, "Yep, that that's where we're going." Oh, I cannot um I can't save. Too intense to save right now. There's no sign. Uh. Uh. Ooh, a 
I got an air grenade. Oh. Doesn't seem like the most relevant thing at the moment, but okay. That's nope. That's not what I'm, I don't think I want to do that. Actually, no, I guess this is where he wanted to go. It's full of water here. Anything in the bunk room? Maybe all the bunks got like, like moved aside. Well, now it's upside down, but I don't th it doesn't seem like that helps us. Take the time to take that off. Let's uh, use the first aid first aid kit. Is there anything else in here that we should be looking at? Oh, well, I don't. I guess not. in the torpedo room are we gonna shoot ourselves out the torpedo are we gonna do it is john meyer gonna be a real action man and shoot himself out this out this out of it we can only hope okay wow that okay this hurt this hurts a lot underwater go into that tube john meyer Yes, yes, we're entering it. This is happening. Yeah! I mean, I don't know how we did that. He, he, like, who, 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 who pressed the button? I guess, guess I'm not as young as I used to be. Uh, the blast tank burst. A sad ending for the Sea Fox. Millions of dollars down the drain. Are you okay? I feel cold all of a sudden. This is Little Shark. Mission accomplished and returning. This is Big Table. The CCD area pool cannot be used because of the SEAL's DSRV. Wait a minute! Head towards the MI area pool. Over. No way! The MI area is in the opposite direction! What are they thinking? It's far, but oh well. I'm going to accelerate. Hold on.
I'll go first and take a look around. No, Mookie! We were gonna give him his vacation a week early and everything! I do like how that cutscene looked like it was setting up for a big fight, and uh, it's, I guess it's... I guess it's just that. She's just a normal enemy. Uh, still can't save. Let's charge up. We've avenged Mookie. We'll never forget you, Mookie. We'll never forget how much you loved baseball. Yes. This is Clancy. Are you okay? M Mookie. One of my men has died. The creature got him. Well, the SEAL team has arrived. Is that so? I know it's tough, but try to return to the CCD area as soon as possible. Escape with the other survivors. You should have a map in your PDA. Roger. Mayor, thanks to you, we're safe from nuclear danger. Well done. But it means nothing. It means nothing without Mookie. Who cares if the world is safe? If Mookie is dead? Oh, why are there monsters here? Uh, did they, uh... Did they say there were monsters on, on he here? Now? I mean, clearly, like, we're seeing them, but, uh... A bit puzzled as to why we have monsters on uh, on the station. Like there are monsters on the submarine, and I guess they're just here now too. to the chemical room so we have to find survivors and escape with them
I like how these boxes seem just seem to have infinite first aid kits. It's appreciated. It's just not the same as when we got them from Mookie's first aid kit. Ooh. March 31st. The special federally funded closed area insecticide research program, Breaknest, has again hit a wall. We still haven't been able to find a formula that isn't harmful to humans. We are now in the final stages of testing the two new drugs, Drug A and Drug B. Official names will remain confidential. Do not tell anyone that the names of the drugs are like uh, Disaster All. That's we, I don't I still think that's a bad name for a drug and we probably should workshop that a bit more but we're just going to keep that a secret for right now. Uh, MI has developed. However, we are getting experiment experiment results that we never thought we never thought we would get. One, the fumes of the new insecticide are extremely harmful, possibly deadly to humans. Turns out <laughs> It's not so effective against insects. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> turns out <laughs> turns out we made humanis hum humanicide. Uh, and it does actually doesn't work on any kind of other animal except it only kills humans. It's, it's very good at that. This disappointing result is not from miscalculation, but from an unexpected chemical reaction. The mixture ratio of the two drugs will remain confidential. We have divined the characteristics of drug B itself as the fault. Drug B will have to be disposed of. As for drug A, we have found that it has positive potentials for an insecticide, and we'll continue our experiments. I will have to discuss with Dr. Weisberg about our immediate priorities for the moment. And my researcher, Pedro Cawson. Oh no! We made something that cannot kill insects, but kills humans extremely well. Here's chemical A. Nothing useful. A small bottle with purple fluid inside. Some difficult technical terms are written on the back. Emergency aid kit. So I, I was wondering before what kind of science were they performing down here? Um, I, I guess the development of a new insecticide was one of the things. And it, it just didn't go exactly how they expected it to. ERS! I'm saved! I couldn't get out of here because of the laser lock. How do you unlock it? Make it so that the laser can be seen. There's always a way to beat technology. How? The fastest way is insecticide spray. There should be a manual somewhere that we made. Stay here until I start up the air system. Please. But be careful when using the insecticide to find the lasers. It is extremely deadly. Say, Pedro said something like, the new insecticide was a failure. Too much toxic fumes. It's probably dumped in the junk area by now. The key is inside my work uniform. Why don't you go get it? Looks like they're exchanging emails. I mean... I don't think I've heard the phrase exchanging used for emails. I guess you could say that for like an email conversation. Level one junk key. It's a device miss chemicals. If you have chemicals, you can mix them here. All right, well, we have one chemical. We do not have chemicals. Besides, what would we even mix? Right, 
let's just check the map for this. Are there any other rooms in this hallway? <clears throat> uh, does it, I don't think so. Yeah, there's only the two rooms. An eventful floor. rooms we have not gone into. This is a storage room. I guess we've been in here. I just realized it says Stradge. The door, door does not say storage. The door says stradge. The grate is down. The airlock won't open. Now look at this. Well, we're running out of air. I put our mask on automatically. That's good. This is where we came in. And can we still not save on this one? This looks like we still can't. Seems strange that saving would be uh, disabled on that. Okay, I don't think we tried down here yet. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's different. Can we read anything there? It doesn't look like it. I better use one of these. I like how when you do that, when you use the first aid kit, it doesn't stay on the item screen. It goes back to gameplay just to make sure that you can't just uh, spam that before going back to gameplay. Okay, we got that key. It's a key to enter the junk area. Let's do that now. I'm glad he automatically draws the harpoon gun when we're underwater. Oh. A guide to the junk area. Control room. Trash disposal. Let's go to the control room first, probably. Oh, hi. Someone's here. I guess they can't go out because of the water. Wait, what? why didn't the water just spill into here when we went through? And you know, never mind. Say, what's going on here? I hear explosions. There's monsters everywhere. I think I'll go crazy, you know? He just seems annoyed by what's going on. 
It's a picture of Bob at his birthday. It reached 1025. Oh, Bob blowing out those candles. Having a good time. You obtained email from Pedro. Hi, Bob. Let's have another poker game tonight. I couldn't get much sleep after last night's game. By the way, that insecticide doesn't work. I guess it's a start from scratch. I guess it'll keep me locked up down here for a while. I just remembered that the mixing ratio of the two substances for making the insecticide is the same as your birthday. No wonder it's bad. Just like you, Bob. You're probably wondering, you're probably wondering how I know your birthday. I know you have a picture on your desk with the date written on it. Well, I'll see you tonight. If you're not too chicken, that is. The Brazilian stallion, Pedro Cawson. Wow. It's, it's quite a signature. I like that he does... He, that's, that's just something he does on work emails. He signs them the Brazilian stallion. <laughs> I need to be that bold in my work emails. Uh, okay, it's just we'll remember 1025. Anything here? Oh, air grenade. Air grenade. Air grenade, air grenade, air grenade. I still can't save. Uh, deactivate lock. Sure. It's a trash disposer below. The trash is compressed for disposal. Shell box for shotgun shells. Do we have like a control lever? Well, we should look at this guy first. I cannot look at this guy. Can I look at the controls? He's not moving. I think he's dead. Probably. This is where they manage the trash disposals. Just wondering, can we uh, do anything with that trash disposal down there? We can look. Okay, we un unlock the door. Uh-oh. What's going on out here? Oh, he didn't even get a cutscene. He's just like, what's going on out there? Then blur, 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 blur. 1025, let's remember. Our charge. Still can't save. Oh, there's more than one. Sure, we'll climb down. Okay, there's a safe. Why 
do some of these not why the, why is it the saving disabled on some of them i don't understand chemical treat okay this was the door that we unlocked Anything here? No. Chemical B, we got it. Okay, I guess it's the only thing in here. So we're get we're getting the two chemicals so we can mix them together into the gas the aerosol spray that's deadly to human oh, i do i don't know how to level two junkie into the gas that's deadly to humans and the reason we're doing this is so we have like an aerosol spray that we can use to see where uh like lasers are am i understanding that right can we just use any kind of aerosol for that do we have to make the extremely deadly gas to do that That's like a real ride to hell solution to something. And of course, before we go back. Just, just so we all remember. 10.25. I like how that one room is completely flooded. It's the only one that is. Somehow it's not getting into the other rooms, but never mind. Well, it doesn't seem like the enemies are respawning. I was wondering if enemies would just keep coming back. It doesn't seem like it so far. Hey, you. I feel dizzy from fever. Did you find the ratio of compound? All right, I guess we'll have to kill him after we're done here. Uh, let's see, here would be the machine. Oh, no, that's okay. okay. That's I pressed. I was I thought I would use like the D pad to select the number. No, I press a button, then it starts going up, and then I hit it to stop. Why do I have to do it like that? No, I'm doing it too early. Why would this machine work like this? The, no machine would work like this. Oh, why did I get a kit? That's <laughs> not quite. I'm glad I'm getting these health items. <laughs> oh, 
don't know. <laughs> I did it. I obtained the insecticide. <gasps> Yeah, we expected that. Why would it... Why would it work that way? And we've become a stone-cold killer now. We're feeling no emotion from these people that we're talking to turning into monsters. Mookie's death changed us. Now we don't see them as people anymore. We just see them as targets. We see them all as Mookie's killer. Insecticide. It's an insecticide. Great. Okay, where am I supposed to use this? Oh, is it in the, um... Is it in the storage room where, like, the gate came down? Maybe that's where the lasers are? He went flying. Assuming that this is it. The strange room. Okay. Hey, <laughs> get out of there. I used it. Uh, do we have a... Okay, no, okay. I guess it... Why would it do that? That's not very secure, is it? Oh, hold on a second. Should you take a bunch of bullets? And we're dead. All right. Well, uh, they they were a little more dangerous than they looked at it for. It looked first. Uh, okay, so we uh, were making progress in deep fear, but unfortunately, the price of progress was Mookie's life. I you know I thought Mookie was gonna make it. I thought he was gonna survive. To the end? Uh, no. Un unfortunately. We're all very sad. We will all remember Mookie always. All those baseball references he made. That time when he and that one girl played a joke on us and we thought she was dr dying. I guess we haven't seen that girl since then. Um, and all, you know, that time where he, he made us promise to give him his vacation one week early. We all salute you, Mookie. We all salute you. And now we have to, um, I, I guess the objective now is to, I guess the objective now is to, um, get back to the main part of the base with survivor. I mean, there have not been any survivors. We were ordered to find survivors. We have found survivors, but they rapidly turned into monsters. 
for some reason, like really quickly after we met them. Um, so like, and then we went ahead and killed them. So Everyone. no survivors so far. Not when John Mayer's here. Not when John Mayer is, is on the mission. There will be no survivors. That's just how he works. Um, so, like I said, I guess we'll we'll continue on. We've gotten. Um, I mean, I didn't save, so we'll, I'll have to make up some make up some some of what we did. But we got past the lasers, and after we're continuing you know continuing just continuing we don't have that much of like a a laser focus of a direction like we did on the submarine where we knew we had to stop the missiles uh here it's just i don't know walk around the station find survivors kill them if you have to and get back to the main part of the station which is what we're doing now um we're going to continue on with deep fear this thrilling survival horror game and I just kind of wish there was more music. I feel music adds a lot. I feel music really does add a lot. And this game doesn't have much of that. Like it has background ambience. Like it goes. And then in the station it goes. In the back. And like that's just kind of. That's what the soundscape of this game is like. And I think it's making it feel a bit more dull than it has to be. I just feel like it's it could easily feel a bit more interesting with some more interesting music going. And it's just not happening. It's just not happening here. So we're, we're continuing on with, with Deep Fear. Let's please enjoy it. 